All right, it is time for day 14 of One Life. So today we are going to be doing a lot of the boring stuff, but we get to start out with an exciting thing. Uh, we are going to be farming Pyro Pete for a couple more crystals, and then we are going to have to go to normal mode to get a rocket jumper at all. And then we need to start on the great XP farm. Whoa. That is our entire plan for today, as XP farming takes a very long time. I just washed my hair and we're going to fight Pyro Pete so I don't have my headset on. And I'm not going to be able to hear audio cues of when he's about to do his funny AoE or anything like that. So hopefully that doesn't get me killed. We'll have to just see how that goes. But we're going to get started. Alright, Pete. I'm back again already. Yeah, honestly, not the worst way to start the day. I am curious about trying to use that Shock Lyuta, though. Because we could get some Critical Ascension stacks here. Yeah, that is kind of nice. Definitely not as OP as just using the Lady Fist against him. But also, that clearly doesn't seem to matter too much. So that's good. That's a second Pete down, only three more to go. I don't like lining him up that snug. That's kind of spooky. There we go. Hopefully he drops at least 10. We're one short. That's okay. These clearly are going relatively well, so that's not a problem. Try be gone out of bounds loop. Oh hey, never mind. We're good. We got our crystal. All right, so we're at 50 crystals now. Never mind. I'm free. So now that we have 50 crystals, we're gonna drop all the way back down to normal mode, and we're gonna do our bada boom farm. All I want is a little bit of quick drawler and explosive. That's all we need. That's all that I want from this. So hopefully the game is reasonable and just gives us that. And then we can just go back to playing the rest of the video game how we like to normally. Is that Quick Drawler with a Bandit Exhaust? Quick Drawler with a Bandit Exhaust. Teteor Grip, which kind of feels bad. And then Teteor Sight for the reload speed. We might actually have to get a reload speed uh, class mod. Or a mag size class mod, rather. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Nice. That's really funny that we can just do this. Okay. So we have been farming class mods like this for a while now. Like, probably the larger part of an hour. Literally just doing exactly what you see here. And we have not seen anything close to what I want to get. So we're probably just going to go ahead and move on. Also, hopefully I get a Mimic here real quick so I can show you what that looks like. Or we don't get a Mimic here. And this is just the most insane luck I've ever had in, in, a, in a line. There it is. So yeah, we were just doing this. And then... Save, quit, go back to the farm. And it's been almost an hour. We're gonna move on, for right now, at least. I'm 
The time for class mod farm 2? True. But class mod farm 2 is going to be a lot more gentle because the plan for how we're going to get to level 80 is we are going to be using a one life strat where people will use an unforeseen class mod with a shock relic to one shot McZafford because apparently huh it spawned me with the wrong bottom that's fair well looks like we're switching over to a, a keep track of the amount of things character hmm that's unfortunate all right well we're a death counter character now that's fair. I really should have looked. That's funny. So, I will admit, that was a very stupid death. And we're going to keep, we're going to keep track of it right here. Because I do just want to see this character's build out, even though I did just get myself farmed like an idiot. Uh, so, yeah, we're just, I, I guess we're just playing a death counter character now. And that feels really bad and really troll. But we're still going to attempt to not die just to see how well we could have done. Pain of a death. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it was entirely because I was just like rambling, distracted. Once again, another distraction death. And also a good reason that if you're going to run a rocket jumper, not to run a damage bada. Because as it turns out, they look pretty identical. So, probably run a Topnia or a Norfleet or like something else. That would be really, really smart of people to do. Alright, so we're just gonna burn it. We can't deep fry it too hard. Oh, that's good. Hold on, where is it? And then I group these together, and then I burn those. That's kind of funny. To be honest though, I might actually play One Life outside of recording. Like, just streaming it casually. Because this has been fun. This has been very enjoyable. I think my next character would be a Maya, because it's a pretty safe character for me. Maybe I'll blow myself up the same way on Maya. Alright, uh, let me put this... ...wherever. That is funny. Well? I don't... Hmm. Since we're not really gonna abide... Heh, <laughs> that's two. I need to change my load order. Doesn't really matter at this point anymore. But yeah, make sure that we actually spawn holding it this time. Okay. So, I didn't grab a B-shield. Just kind of showing off what I was hoping we could do real quick. Which did not include losing half of my health bar outright, but... Whatever. That was pretty much the plan. Well done, my friend. Turn to me once you are done looting this unrelated corpse. And then since this is first kill, these guys don't really despawn, even if you leave the arena and come back. But it's simple enough. 
you just get a good tag in and then you win. Funny how the guy that drops arguably the best weapon in the game is lower than a turtle. Yeah. I just think it's kind of fun. The fact that Zero is set up to be one of the best characters for this playstyle. Because he can bore a bunker to get a sham, like, no problem. He can bore Hyperius to get a Norfleet, no problem. He can get fast hands to get a drunk effect really quick and then swap to a Norfleet. And then he has Two Fang to make it shoot twice instantly and not have to wait for the, the fire rate. He's like the, the funniest character you could do this with, and that's why I was kind of hoping to be able to do this with him. Thirty-six. Okay, cool. So with that, we now have our hundred percent chance to two fang. So every time we shoot, it shoots twice. This would have been way more funny actually in the run, but whatever, it's fine. I would not advise anyone try to use the skyrocket for damage at level eighty, but it also provided us a herald instantly. Okay, use the skyrocket, apparently. It will just give you your farm. It might not be a good herald, but it's a herald. Cool. Alright, we've got a B-shield. Cool. It's so bad. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's actually... Look at that recharge delay, 7.56. That is forever in a day. Well, we did die today. And this little run has been going on for quite a while. This is the 13th day we have been doing this. So next time, we will go ahead and... 14th? 13th? I don't remember. But next time, we're just going to get a Norfleet... And then we're just gonna go cruise through Digipeak and just have fun with the character for a day and then probably be done with it. We've got the relic and the class mod we want, kind of. The class mod could have mag size, of course. And then we do need an absorb shield to really take full of like full power of the build. But we were really close to having fun with the character, so we're gonna go ahead and just have fun with the character and then be done with the whole series entirely.